and welcome to the Tiger Team. I'm Tiger, your host. And today, I'm playing Lego The Incredibles. And Hunter isn't here today, so it'll just be me. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to get infinite studs in the game. Um, it's actually pretty easy. A lot of people don't actually know. But it, if you want to get studs, and if you don't have enough studs to, like, uh, say, um, buy a car, like, because they, at the start of the game, you get a bunch of cars, but you just have to pay for them, so you can pay for them, and, um, using this infinite studs glitch, and if you don't have enough money for mystery bags, you can also, also pay for them, um, so, uh, this is my, uh, account, and today I'm celebrating 80 hours of Lego The Incredibles. Yeah, pretty cool. So 80 hours and um, 100%. So just today, 100% is Lego the Incredibles. And I decided I wanted to do a video on it. One of the ones I've been saving up for a while now. Um, how to get infinite studs. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to be showing you two ways to get infinite studs. This first one is a bit harder. Well, it's not actually harder, it just takes up way more time, but I'm going to show you it anyway. So see this um, blue coin right here? Um, it's in the area behind the old Parr family house in the residential district. So if you just collect this, run over here with Dash, go back, it respawns. Keep on doing the same exact thing. And you can do it however many times you want. Yeah, it's pretty easy. It just takes up a lot of time and you only get one um one thousand studs. Unless you have a multiplier. Which I do have on, but if you don't, like at early in the game, then this could take a little bit. But if you just need like a couple thousand studs and this is perfect for you. It's super, super cool, and it's kind of weird, because you just come over here, come back, and there is the blue coin. So for this next one, um, I am going to be playing, well, this one is in the Elastigirl on the case level. Nice one about this is it isn't actually um, that far into like the game so you can access it pretty early if you want studs at the start of the game so i'm just gonna get this all set up and if you guys are not already, haven't already subscribed please subscribe that would be great um if you guys can subscribe um, please hit that like button if you like this video, and of course, thank you for viewing, as always, and um, this is our sixth video in the in season one. Um, season two is going to be after episode ten in this video, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we're going to do something special for the first episode. Of season two so we're just gonna wait as this loads here okay and you can kind of read the tips right there the residential district okay anyway here it loads so we're just gonna skip this and you go into this little spot right here um, so if you just walk around here, I'm going to play as Electro, and Electro is our custom-made character, and he's pretty cool looking. He has the electricity power. Pretty cool. So yeah, this is Elastigirl on the case level, just to remind you guys. So just walk up this little hallway right here. Pretty cool. Okay. 
So once you can actually like start like running, um, then uh, we're gonna wait for this. If you guys haven't played this level, it is actually like one of my favorite levels in the game. It's super super fun. It's like awesome. It really like amps up the story kind of to the climax of it of the um incredibles 2 so it's a pretty good level if you haven't already played it so what you're going to want to do is head over into this left room when you can actually start rocking and running um head over in this left room and go to this little uh, um mini game section right here and what you're going to want to do is just beat them beat the mini game which i'll do that right now So you have to get five of those like um, golden spaceships. It's not too hard to get them. I don't really know what these mean on the side, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, got that one. Oh, okay, that was weird. Maybe it's like when it goes out of the box or something, you like lose a life. Or no. I guess you just hit them or something. Okay, yeah. So it counts how many, like, golden, yellowish things you have left. Is that's, that's what it means. Uh, okay. So once you do that, um, you're going to start to feel rumble in your controller. Well, at least on the Nintendo Switch. And just, like, um, just look at the screen for a little bit until it automatically pops you out. And literally, look. It gives you blue coin after blue coin. I mean, like, it's so weird. If you get out of this area, it won't. But if you get back in, you can get infinite coins. Now, the reason why this is easier, because first of all, it's way faster to, like, get blue coins. Um, it takes a bit longer to get here, but it's still worth it because you can simply just put your controller down and let it do it for you i mean really easy and you can like go do something else read a book go play outside and when you come back in you're gonna have a lot of money so yeah it's a pretty cool glitch and that is how you get infinite studs in lego the incredibles um please subscribe to my channel please like this video if you liked it and thank you for viewing um, yeah. And of course, you are watching the Tidy Team.